So the first step is going to be taking out the collet. Um, in my instance, this is all hand loosened, so if you need to, you can just use a crescent wrench. So once the collet and collet bolt are out, you can slide your rod out. And now the body is ready to take the seal out. You loosen the retainer that's in the body. So to do that, you'll have your crescent wrench extender and then your stubby socket. It's got to be a short one, otherwise you'll damage the seal when you insert it. So We'll do it with a vise here in the shop. It's a lot easier, but if you need to, you can use just a large crescent wrench. I cheated. Sometimes it'll drop right out, other times you have to actually use the stubby to hold it out. So, yep, so this is the, I'll call it the top half, but just the threaded retainer. The next step is to actually push the seal and the peak out. The easiest way to do this is with the actual rod. Um, so what you'll do is you'll come in from the top and push, and in this case I just got just the seal. doesn't work you can kind of for futz with it to try to get the peak out if not you can just take a normal pick and the easiest way is to push from the back side kind of working around until you can get it out so now it should fall out and then here is the peak insert and that's how you remove the seal Now I'm going to just put this stuff back in pretending like it's brand new. Um, so the first step is grab your insertion tool, um, grab your new seal. You want the spring to be facing you and the seal goes first and then the peak insert goes second. And then holding this just in a way that the seal and the peak doesn't fall off, push it into the bottom of the tool. You'll feel them hit and then you'll hear a pop when they go in. Um, and you'll also feel it so it just went in. Then the next step is going to be reinsert the retainer. Um, you can put some never seize on the threads just to make sure nothing galls up. Then you're going to use your stubby again. And this is where it's important to have the stubby because if you had a normal size socket, it would stick out of here and you damage the seal when you tighten it down. So you'll put that in, kind of finger tighten it until it gets tight. And then you're going to torque it using your torque wrench, which is set to 35 foot-pounds. So, um, again, having a vise is a lot easier than doing this on the table. But, and there's the click, and then once that's done, you can put your rod back in, put your collet, and then lock and bolt back on, and then take it out to the field. So that's how you replace the seal.